I'm MC Toon. You know, Flat Earthers are constantly claiming that gravity doesn't exist. You see, if gravity did exist, the Earth would be pulled into a sphere. So long, Flat Earth. Rather than try to disprove it using the scientific method, they just invent nonsensical reasons like density and buoyancy. Density isn't a force, and buoyancy is a force that requires gravity to work. They get especially confused about buoyancy. They'll take a helium balloon and ask why gravity doesn't work on that balloon. Then get confused because the answer is buoyancy. They think it disproves gravity. It doesn't. AB Science addressed this topic in an excellent video where he goes over the concepts in a technical way that includes the math involved. I highly recommend this video. In my video, I'll cover buoyancy in a less technical way with no math, more of an introduction. The first thing about buoyancy is that it's spelled weird. Personally, I would spell it B-O-Y-A-N-C-Y, but that's way wrong. It's actually B-U-O-Y-A-N-C-Y. Seriously, why the U-O? So write it down a few times to make sure you spell it right when you type it so you don't make the mistake. Anyway, so now we can get on to explaining buoyancy. Let's look at a helium balloon. There's a certain volume of air that the balloon displaces. Now consider an amount of air that's equal to the same volume, just the air. Both of these have a certain mass. Since air is made from mostly nitrogen and oxygen, it's heavier than helium. The mass of the air is higher than the mass of the balloon and helium combined. Since they both take up the same volume, the air is more dense than the helium balloon. This difference is the reason there's buoyancy. The air gets pulled down with more force due to gravity than the balloon. Since the air is pulled more, it will displace the balloon. This is realized as the buoyant force. The strength of the buoyant force is directly related to the difference between the force due to gravity uh, on the air versus the balloon. The larger the difference, the stronger the force. The buoyant force is easier to experience in water. You take an air-filled float toy, it can be very difficult to push it under the water. When under the water, you can feel how strongly the toy pushes up. Since water is way more dense than air, the force due to gravity on the water is significantly higher than the force due to gravity on the toy. The buoyant force is much stronger in the water. So this explains how gravity causes buoyancy. I've written an article on the law of gravitational attraction on my website at mctune.net. I'll link it in the description. There's also information on buoyancy. Anyone wishing to disprove gravity could start on this page for some pointers to go about disproving it. I even offer to help you get your stuff uh, published, and uh, maybe we can share the Nobel Prize together. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click subscribe and the bell notification icon. Um, if you haven't already, go watch the video from AB Science. He covers buoyancy in great detail. Um, I'll link it in the description. If you haven't already, you need to subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you.